Welcome to our Capture 2019 tutorial series. In this episode, we are going to take a closer look at plot adjustments, annotations, and measurements. I have set up my Capture project workspace so that I have one large view in plot mode on the left hand side and the project window on the right hand side. Plot annotations are the textual information bit associated with an object. In the case of the fixture, we have the channel number, DMX patch, and circuit name. This information is automatically updated in Capture as we patch or modify this information of the fixture. As I showed you in the previous episode on plots, it's also possible to adjust the position of the annotations separately from the actual fixture symbol. This is done by adjusting the enabling the plot adjustment mode using the little switch on the top right corner of the selection rectangle. Once plot adjustments are enabled, we can move the annotation as well as rotate it and place it wherever we need it. Annotations are also available for all other object types. In the case of the truss here, we can see it's labeled truss1. This bit of information comes from the unit property of the truss and also plays an important role in the locations reports. In addition to the unit property that can be used to set up the annotation, we have a few additional fields. One is the annotation field where we can add extra text without affecting things like fixture locations. As I modify these properties, the view automatically updates with the additional information added or the changes I make. For instance, I can automatically add information about the type of the truss, the dimensions of the truss, as well as the truss's trim height, which is the height up to the lowest point of the truss. It's also possible to modify the precision of the trim height if you don't need or don't want to have too many decimals in the actual numbers. Just as with the annotations of the fixtures, I can double click on the annotation, enable plot adjustment mode, and move the annotation separately from the truss. Another common task for plotting is adding measurements. Measurements are added by drag and drop from the library. Here, under the built-in category, the top one is the distance measurement. I can drag and drop this into my design. The measurements snap in the design. And it's important to know that you can double click on the endpoints of the measurement to snap the endpoints individually. As you can see, the actual measurement number is automated at updated automatically as I snap the endpoints of the measurements. And as a complement, you can also edit the distance manually, which is useful if you need to create drawing guides or help geometry as you're designing something. As now I have something that is five meters long that I could snap other items to. The distance of the measurement itself is also an annotation, so I can select that by double clicking, enable plot adjustments and move that freely from the actual arrow. Finally, it's also possible to add symbols to the plot that are not necessarily fixtures by themselves. In the library, under the symbols category, here you can find all of the fixtures symbols but there's also a category called generic, which contains a few generic symbols you can use. For instance, I could drag and drop the warning symbol into my design and enter information into the annotation property, for instance, to inform the rigors that this truss is extra heavy. Thank you for watching and see you in the next episode.